Breton Island's a small barrier island off the coast of Louisiana, uh, not too far from the Mississippi River Delta. And it's a part of a long chain of other barrier islands in the Gulf of Mexico. Incredible, incredible national treasure. It's one of over 560 national wildlife refuges. For centuries, really, it's provided habitat for nesting colonial water birds. Barrier islands I find fascinating. First of all, they're always shifting, always moving, eroding, but they provide extraordinary habitat for wildlife. Birds that are migrating, they need a place not only for nesting, but also during their migration, they come to islands like this to rest and forage. The importance of Breton Island when it comes to protecting communities of mainland, as it relates to storm surge, it stops the wave energy, it slows things down. Some people like to think of them as speed bumps along the way, but it really has to do with kind of slowing down wave action and um, the intensity of storms. The trustees got together with contractors and developed a sustainable island design that would be resilient as storms pass through, that would be self-sustaining as sand moved around, as it does on barrier islands. We ended up with a design that built the island in both length and width. We're going to move into planting and we're going to plant cord grass and plant the dunes with grasses, replant black mangrove on the north end of the island to really create that habitat for birds that's been lost. USGS uh, is the largest science agency in the U.S. and we're really involved in providing impartial science to support decision making. Here at Breton Island, we're gonna be involved in the monitoring of restoration tracking vegetation through time, how the marsh, dunes, and beaches evolve. We'll be looking at habitat acreage, and we'll also be looking at how the sediment moves within the system to look at island resiliency. You look at some of the models and some of the data that predicts, you know, certain pieces and parts of this coast would be gone by now if we had not previously done these restoration events. And so doing these now is a part of maintaining and facilitating a longer term maintenance and, and restoration of these islands through time. And, and so there's always sort of this tipping point that if you don't get to it now, it's much harder to bring it back. This island was getting to such to the size that if we hadn't done something now, it would have been almost impossible from a construction standpoint to bring it back. Theodore Roosevelt was actually our founding father of the National Wildlife Refuge System. He saw that there was a problem uh, with people needing feathers and harvesting birds. He established uh, a bird sanctuary, which is Breton, in 1904, which uh, became the second oldest National Wildlife Refuge System. I would think that Theodore Roosevelt would be very happy to see that uh, the completion of this project. And so we're happy to just be a part of this legacy and continue with conservation efforts. When corporate America, State of Louisiana, Department of Interior, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, when we all have a common goal and work together we can do wonderful things.